My name is Julian Boyd and I'm from San Antonio, Texas. I was uh, in Texas two, two years ago now and uh, I was working out at the place I work out uh, called Champion Sports Place. I was running my basketball camp and I received a phone call from Julian. And uh, it was just a normal day, I was working out fine, I got a cramp in my calves. He talked about an incident of him cramping up, you know, pretty severely. I didn't think much of it, so I just sat down and tried to stretch out. And um, after that, I started going like my legs and my stomach and arms. Basically, his kidneys were shutting down. Uh, I knew it was something pretty serious. They kept me in the hospital for about three days, and over that course of time, they just did tests on me to see what was going on, they found a, a heart murmur. They took an MRI of his heart uh, and found out that he had a non-compaction cardiomyopathy. Which means that like the muscle on my heart like comes off a little bit so it blocks blood flow and I also had an enlarged heart. Didn't really think right away it was something that was gonna keep him out very long until, you know, once we got back, we started researching it and saying, oh, wait a second, this is something that we have to watch very closely. I didn't think it would be something that would keep me out for the whole whole year as it did. It was a challenging year for us as a basketball program because he was such a good player being the rookie of the year the year before. We had great expectations as a program, uh, but nothing comes before the health of our guys. It was back to the next summertime and uh, I actually I went home and I did a, a test before I, I came home. They wanted to see if I need something called a, a pacemaker. After it said that I'm able to play and I didn't need that anymore, I was probably one of the happiest people in the world after sitting out for a whole year from not being able to do something that you love to do is really hard, but just to hear that news saying I get a second chance and God gave me a second chance to do what I love to do is probably one of the best feelings ever. As soon as I got that, I called Coach and I said, Coach, he said I have to play now. Once he did get cleared to play, um, you just saw like a, uh, just a, a big relief come out over Julian and excitement. Now I definitely have a different mindset. I take a lot, a lot, a lot more serious, and I definitely appreciate a lot more to just be, be able to be out on the court. There's no question in my mind that his sit-out year and it being something that dramatic, uh, that was life and death. It, it was a greater bond in that locker room between these guys because seeing a brother that is going through something so difficult, they bonded that year that he was away. When he got the opportunity to play again, we were just that much better of a family, that much stronger of a family, that much better of a team. After being able to be out and then come back and have a great season like that, it was just one of the best things ever. As he got stronger and stronger throughout the year, he just beat. He had a fantastic year and we kind of got on his back a little bit and, and rode it to a, to a special season.